Hi guys, I'm your host Jennifer Tapiero, hanging out at the Magic Castle and literally, we just got out of a seance and I'm sitting right now with the star of Houdini and Doyle on Fox coming on uh, May 2nd, Michael Weston, who was in the seance with me. Still shaking, you guys. There was some real stuff going down there. We, uh, can we tell them? We saw your pop. I, mean, I wouldn't actually see him, but he contacted the medium. It was really, it was really crazy. It was Tell moving. us. It was moving. Uh, Bennett, right? Mm -hmm. A Mets fan, and uh, and you and your mom were in there, and it was, uh, it was actually a really uh, moving experience. And 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 you hadn't met her before, Misty, our incredible medium. And uh, and I mean, right? We're still, we're still, uh, we're still a little lit up here, guys. Yeah. A little weird like I mean just because I really don't know anybody in the room and then yeah. she had us write down names of people we love and then my mom wrote down the name that she was thinking of put it in a box yeah. and then the medium had her send the box all of our names in there I mean I don't there uh, it would have been impossible for her to pick that out and uh, yeah it, it was incredible and then she picked the name out and you guys were were shaking it was sort of uh, it was incredible I wasn't expecting that so, I mean, you must be really impressed with this stuff. We're here at the Magic Castle. You have a great new role playing Houdini. Are you impressed with the Magic Castle? I, I am. Well, I've learned so much about magic since I got this part. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the magicians that I've met are, are so generous with their time and their expertise and, uh, and with my amateur skills. And so they've, they've actually helped me a lot, like learn uh, little tricks, which I'm very bad at. Uh, and you get a, a real respect for these guys because they, I mean, in order to, to master these tricks, you have to spend some serious time. You sleep with your deck of cards. It is your best buddy. Um, so I can throw cards around the room. I'm not there yet. But uh, yeah, I am. I'm super impressed. And, and if you're lucky enough to come to the Magic Castle, uh, take anyone up on that invite because it's a, it's a special place and the, and the magicians here are incredible. Yeah, you can literally feel the energy down here right now. Like behind us, there's so much going on. This is really, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, like uh, all these old magicians throughout time. Uh, and I think anyone who's worth their salt as a ma magician, and no offense to those who haven't come here, but they, they try and come here. And, and I've seen some incredible shows since I've been here. So, okay, let's talk about your new role. What kind of research did you have to do to play Houdini? Well, uh, you know, I got this part, and like a week later, I was shooting. I was in the UK, and uh, we shot in Manchester and Liverpool, and uh, and you know, I sort of learned on the fly. And and the more you learn about uh, Harry Houdini and Arthur Conan Doyle, you know, it's it's based on the real life friendship between these two guys and these two, uh, you know, really epic personalities of their time. Uh, I didn't know that much about Harry Houdini. I sort of knew that he was a magician, and I, and I knew that he was this, you know, uh, you know, big personality c celebrity. But I didn't, I didn't really understand the place he held in our history as this, you know, immigrant who came to America and sort of pulled himself up by his bootstraps out of poverty and, and and became this this palpable symbol of of freedom and liberation and, you know, any shackles that you have in your own personal life. This guy, you know, he would get out of anything in front of you and sort of defy all odds and I think that there's something there's something about that that he still sort of instills you know wonder and plays on our our sense of what is possible so you know for me for me to play this character was amazing and uh, you know we we uh, s sort of smudge the the edges corners of history for our for to make the adventure uh, even more fun um, but it's based on the real life friendship of these two guys that that duked it out over the supernatural and uh, what I love about it is that uh, Harry Houdini was the magician and he was the total skeptic. And, uh, and Arthur Conan Doyle uh, was the scholar, doctor, and, and, uh, and he actually believed in ghosts. So. Wow. Yeah. so what kind of trouble are you guys getting into and out of? What's going on? We get in lots of trouble. Uh, you know, the, the two of us, we solve crimes at the turn of the century in the UK. Uh, there's, there was sort of clunky police work up until that time at, at Scotland Yard. And uh, Arthur Conan Doyle actually uh, did a lot to sort of further forensics and all that stuff in the time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there are aliens and there are, you know, dead nuns from ghosts and there's a lot of supernatural. And, and then it's always with this, this very thoughtful backdrop of, uh, of I think, real humanity. Uh, it's written by the, the uh, creators of House, uh, David Shore and David Hoselton uh, is our creator, David Titcher, a great writer. And um, so it's, uh, we, got, we had wonderful scripts and a, and a wonderful cast. And, and then we were, we were shooting in... Uh, you know, in the UK, and they they take their period very seriously over there, and uh, and they really know their stuff. So, um, 
So it was fun for us. We were, you know, we had these incredible like costumes and they, they, these streets they'd gravel over with carriages and the full period uh, uh, thing. So it was, it was really fun for me. So what about a love interest? Does Houdini have a love interest on the show? Well, I, I think he has several. And uh, the the mm -hmm. thing he he ha he really has a thing for you know. There's the first female constable, Adelaide Stratton, played by Rebecca Lydiard, and uh, and she's you know she represents a sort of turn of the century woman who you know the the burgeoning feminist movement, and she's a very strong female character. And I think for Houdini, who's sort of used to you know getting getting his way around around the uh, the world, I think she really presents a challenge and she's beautiful and smart and strong and uh, and sort of evolves him as a man at that time and I think it's a really unique relationship. So you know of course as an actor you really get into the role when you went home was there any Houdini with you? <laughs> well you know I live uh, I live right down from his real house so uh, I pass it all the time and I uh, yeah I think you know there there's there's a little uh, sense of sort of of magic that sticks with you with this guy I think his spirit is um, and his and his and his energy uh, has have stuck with me and his sense of mischief so my, my wife might get tired of it but yeah it's still there I love it so we haven't checked out the show yet but we're so excited what are you hoping everybody at home and the audience and people watching are gonna say after watching Houdini and Doyle I, I hope that they have fun I mean I think it's a I think it's a really fun show it's a great adventure and I think that uh, that you get to see it against this backdrop of, of turn of the century England and, and it's, it's both beautiful and fun and, and these two characters I think are, are really uh, epic and unique personalities and we have a fun take on it. I love it, congratulations. Yeah. We can't wait to check it out on Fox, May 2nd. Make sure you set the TiVo. And uh, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Yeah, really Houdini fun. and Doyle. Thanks. Houdini, right here. Well, it's about to be some magic. We're gonna disappear right now. Okay. Okay, let's go.